Everybody's video, Bob, I got another cool product review. Now, this is something that I went out and bought for myself to use. This was not given to me. This is not a sponsorship. This is not a paid promotion. Although I do have links to both of these screwdrivers in the product description where you can order them. Uh, and if you want to skip ahead to the next screwdriver, go into the link description and there's a link there. I have to put that in after the video because I don't know when it's going to be. All right, so let's talk about the Craftsman first. Now, when I saw this, I was really impressed by it. <clears throat> this thing blew me away. It's a Craftsman 4-volt electric screwdriver, and I wanted to go ahead and leave it in the package for just a minute, but I've kind of already opened it and uh, a little bit. I'm going to need a going to need a knife. I hate these blister packs that they use for everything. Uh, you about kill yourself trying to open something. Half the time you damage the product. I know they... Ah, really? There we go. Okay. <clears throat> I got to applaud Craftsman for doing something that more and more uh, manufacturers need to do. The charging port for this thing is a regular old USB. Now it does come with a charger, but who cares? We all have micro USB laying around. Now uh, inside there is the charger and then also a little collection of bits. We, we know what those bits are. I don't even need to go through there. And you can look at the manufacturer site and see what the bits are. But we're gonna talk about the importance of this thing. Now think about this for a minute. Um, <clears throat> like here's, Here's a uh, screwdriver that I've used for a long time. This, you know, this one is designed where it has its bits hidden in it, but, but what we're concentrating on is like the size of this thing. I mean, basically this thing is about the size of your average regular screwdriver. And uh, you know, I just noticed something else I keep in here. So th this, is, uh, this is the electric screwdriver I've been using for years by Works, which is great. Now I love this thing. What's cool about this thing is, uh, you know, you can, you can change the bits out like a like a pistol. It's pretty it's pretty cool. To... Okay, now it's jammed, like a just like a real uh, gun. There we go. Anyway, but it's still much bigger and and it's a little bit harder to work with and it's set up more like a drill. This thing works just like a screwdriver. It stays in a lock position, so you can operate it manually without any power. You could still use it. So that's kind of the difference, right? When the battery goes dead in this, I'm not going to be really spinning this thing around and using it. And I'm kind of at the mercy of this thing's speed. It only goes at one speed. And, and you don't wanna use a full-blown drill when you're working on basic stuff. So like when you're uh, taking apart things, like for instance, for many years, I built computers, right? I worked on TVs and VCRs. You gotta take apart a lot of screws. If I'd had this thing, it would've changed my life. But now that we have the lithium ion battery technology, but uh, we could fit it into this small little package. Okay, but here's the deal. Here, I'm gonna show you what makes it really special. It's got a little lock here to keep you from accidentally turning it on. Now that it's on, it has a super bright light, which is really awesome. And it's kind of, it's kind of weird you out because when you press the button, it's not really doing anything, right? The, oh, you see what just happened there? It's got a little accelerometer in there and it can tell which direction you're turning it, right? And, and somehow it does that even this way. Isn't that crazy? And it also has a little bit of a, a, a torque feel to it, but it just knows that you're tilting it one way or the other or rotating it one way or the other. And what's great about that is Whereas if you were using one of these little other, any any other electric screwdriver, you've got this little switch that controls forward and back, forward, click, back, forward, back, right? Because, you know, let's say you over torque the thing, you want to back it up or whatever. You just twist, right? And also it controls the speed. So you turn it a little bit and then, oh, you gotta hold the button. So you turn it just a little bit and look how slow. You can just kind of work it in real slow and then you can speed it up. Look at that. Oh, it went too far. Oh, just back it up a little. What? How cool is that? They say that this thing, I forget what the, how long it lasts, but it lasts a long time. 
Now, you're not using this for drilling holes or whatever, but for if you were doing assembly or disassembly, like if you were putting together like a desk or a chair or, or, or whatever, or what something with a bunch of screws in it, man, this would be a great thing to have. It's so little, you can put it in your pocket, throw it in your toolbox. Most of the time, all you're going to need is a Phillips. And the great thing is... <laughs> It's like an escalator. When an escalator breaks, it just becomes stairs. You know what I mean? If the battery were to die, well, you still got a screwdriver. And that's what's great about it is that it's never going to let you down, even if the battery... And by the way, you don't need to carry a charger with you. Who doesn't have a micro USB with them? You, you could charge this thing up in no time. So I just had to talk about how great this thing is. I love this thing so much. I'm shaking the camera. I, bought, I love this thing so much. I bought a bunch of them. I put one in my RV, I put one at my shop, I got one at my house, I put them everywhere because this is the screwdriver to replace pretty much all your screwdrivers. Because why have a manual screwdriver at all when you can have this thing, right? It's still a manual screwdriver with the option of being an electric screwdriver. And it's like, what, 30 bucks? They're practically giving them away. That's crazy. I bought like four of them. All right, so. That's the Craftsman. Again, I'm not affiliated with Craftsman. I want to be. Craftsman, call me. Love to work for you guys. But this thing is crazy, dude. Comes with uh, a whole bunch of different bits, which I, you know, I'm not showing you, but you know, pretty much all of these come with the same bunch of bits. It says drives up to 325 screws on a single charge. Wow. Three-year warranty. That's pretty good for an electrical device. You know, Craftsman is known for their warranties. And I'm so glad the Craftsman brand has been saved. Anyway, all right, let's move on to the next tool. This thing is completely different. Now, I've been working on small electronics for a long time. And I'm going to start opening this thing while we're talking about it. Uh, you know, I work on phones, computers, laptops, small electronics. So I use a lot of precision tools. You know, I've even worked on my own Rolex watch. I've worked on this phone. I've worked on my iPad. I've worked on my Mac. I've worked on my printers. I've worked on it. I do a lot with little screwdrivers. And listen, I have a lot of little screwdriver kits. You know, I've got, you know, like this is a pretty good kit with a bunch of little bits on it and things. And so I'm all the time looking for a better solution for a precision screwdriver. Now this thing is called the Wow Stick. The Wow Stick 1F 69 and 1. Hey, that was my nickname in college. No, I'm just kidding. Um, th these people have got to have an entire village of, of, of employees just boxing this thing. You know, I don't want to do a full unboxing on this thing, but Jesus. It, it, first of all, it comes with this mat. This particular version comes with a mat. So it comes with this cool little uh, work mat, which is a super thick rubber workspace which most technicians are going to have one of these screw mats anyway um this is pretty small but i guess if you're working on really small electronics that's great and then there's just this huge box of stuff i'm going to dump it out and i'm not going to sit here and go through every little thing uh because we'll be here for days now one of the things they give you that i thought was kind of weird and i'm trying to figure uh, it's hard to open like i said this thing is way over packaged they give you what is essentially uh, it's almost like a little pen holder, like a little inkwell. And I'm going to show you how that works. It's not an inkwell, but, you know, that's what it reminds me of. Uh, that you would keep your pen in. Way too much packaging. Way too much packaging. It, it's, it's just like everything is in a box, which is then inside a bag. It's ridiculous. It's too much. These people, I tell you what, they care. They care a lot. The boxes, they're everywhere. Okay. Now, they give you this, it looks like a little toothbrush holder. Inside that, it's magnetically held together, is your tool and your bits. Now, before I even get to the tool, we'll maybe we'll talk about these bits. Like I said, uh, or, you know, with the Craftsman, I was like, I'm not really worried about the bits. This is a lot, a lot of bits. I mean, you've got everything you can think of. We're talking about square bits, triangular bits, I've never even seen. And those are like security bits that are used on certain, I think on Apple and things like that. Uh, you've got like Torx. You've got Torx with the center thing in the middle. You've got, you know, here, look, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of run this across the screen and you can kind of see uh, some of the different, different ones. You know, you have your, just your regular screwdriver bits and flats and, 
and Allens, and you got some extended long ones and security bits. And the way these work is it's like, it's, it's kind of like uh, Jurassic Park where he pulls out the uh, DNA samples. You've got these tubes that have all your little bits in there. So they're real easy to carry, but you don't have to open them and sift through them. You just look at the printed thing here, sorry. All right, now here's the tool itself. Again, applaud them. Just a regular micro USB on the bottom of this. This is a really simple thing. I would have liked to have had a little bit more ergonomics to this thing. I would have liked to have seen maybe a little hourglass thing here with a rubber, rubberized thing for, for turning. Because this, much like the uh, Craftsman one, you can still use as a regular screwdriver. Let's pull these out. I, I'm kind of fond of these extended heads here. Let's go with one of these. Let's pull this. Pull that one out. Okay. So, bang. Now, it's got a little button forward, back. Look at, listen, listen to the whir of this thing. Again, with a nice LED light on the front. Now, downside with this one, you don't have as much speed control, unless I'm, I'm missing something. I don't see any adjustments. Wow, amazing torque. I can't stop that thing. Wow. All right, hand strong. Wow, that is strong. So the wow, wow stick, right? So it comes with this little holder so you can do this kind of thing with it, except <laughs> the long bit doesn't fit. <laughs> oh, what a failure. This is like a, what's the point of this? Just lay the thing down, whatever. They're trying to be all fancy smancy with it. So you have a smaller bit and you're like, oh, I'm going to put it in there. Like a little pen holder. Eh. It's got a little rubberized bottom. You know, I think that we could have done without that. Came with some other accessories for people who work on small electronics. Most of us are going to already have these things, but I just thought this was really cool and thoughtful. They give you a little jar of extra screws. Like, like you know, you're probably going to need one of these. They just give you a little jar of screws. They give you a magnetizer, demagnetizer. Super cool. I already have a professional one, but that's cool. This little pry thing here, this is used for popping the glass on the phones. You know, a charger, not that you need it. And then a little suction cup for pulling the glass off a phone. The case is made for carrying two items, and it's magnetic. And the two items would be your tool without a bit on it. And then you pick whatever your favorite jar of bits is, and you stick that in there. And then you got this you can carry. Now... I would have liked to have had some input with these people and talk to them and say, you know, this, eh, this is dumb. If, if I'm going to be carrying this with me, how do I know what bits I'm going to need, right? And why not just make uh, like a nylon case or something or a larger case that carries everything? You know, maybe not this little holder thing, but I definitely would have made it so that at least one bit could stay in the unit inside the case, as well as carrying all three of my little deals. So I'm not really thrilled about this case. I mean, where am I going to go with this? What am I doing with this? It's white. It's going to get all scratched up, you know. You're going to have it mixed in with your other tools because you're probably going to have pliers and other things like that. You, and, and it's like, where are you going with it, right? So now I have this stuff laying around, but this isn't a case. What's the point? Some of these manufacturers, you know, I they, they have these brilliant minds to come up with something like this. And then at the same time, they fail in other ways. But the wow stick uh, gets my vote of approval as a precision screwdriver. You know, listen, you don't need to, you're not, I guess you don't really need to have much more torque than that because, you know, what you're really doing with this is you're going to be using it in its fixed motion to break loose your screw and then, and yank it out. And then you're going to set it in. As soon as you hit some torque, you let off of it and then hand tighten it because you don't want to strip it out. Um, and of course, you know, this thing says, I, I forget, but it, it'll run for days. You know, obviously you've got nice big cell in here and probably multiple cells and it's, it's pretty lightweight. I, I'm assuming, I guess this is aluminum, but it's just a well precision made piece of equipment. And if you work on small electronics or whatever it is you're doing, uh, you'd be pretty dumb to not own one of these. Now, I found this uh, by accident because I was originally looking for my craftsman. 
you know, technically, you really could, if you wanted to, you could use an adapter, and they make an adapter, and you put a precision heads into these, and you could use this thing, and it, would, and it wouldn't be a bad idea. But this is a much, much bulkier unit, you know, uh, and it would probably do the trick, and, and then you have those variable speeds, but it's so big that you're, you're adding all that weight on top of your screw. This thing weighs like, like nothing, so that probably helps when you're trying to drive one of these screws in. And I'm not going to bother doing any actual putting screws in for you. You know how screwdrivers work. What, what's really important is just kind of talking about um, what you get with it and, and, and whether or not it's worth it. I mean, you know, I can, if you're a real technician like me, um, you can kind of tell when something's going to be good and when it's not going to be good. This thing is, is awesome, and I wish I'd have had this in my television engineering days. You know, the reason my name is Video Bob is I was a TV engineer, worked for American Independent Network back, at, but this has been 20 years ago, and I used to build mobile production trucks, EFP trucks, ENG vans, uh, which made like, like, tr like a van with like four cameras hooked up to it or satellite systems, things like that. And um, I worked in the video and television industry producing videos and commercials and things. Anyway, I, I, I had to work on equipment, you know, and I'm surrounded, I can't show you here, but I have beta cam machines and three quarter machines, super VHS machines. I still have those old tape machines that I use for doing transfers and things. And, and I'm all the time having, like I just completely redid this Umatic three quarter machine, changed the heads, the belts, the motors, the servos, everything in it, because the thing is like 30 years old and it needed to be worked on. And oh gosh, I wish I'd have had this and that other tool. Because now that I'm 45 years old, I am starting to get like carpal tunnel, maybe a little bit of arthritis in these fingers from years of doing that. You know, I've been doing that right there, uh, you know, for like 30 years of my life. You know, back in the uh, mid 90s, I worked at a TV VCR repair shop, you know, and you're taking these things apart, putting them back together. Gosh, look at that. It's just so precision and quiet. And the little LED, I love everything about it. So, just a little product review. I'm just sharing this with it because some of the people who watch my channel, uh, some of you watch for my car videos and some of you watch for my product reviews and any of, you out, any of you people out there that are technicians, I just wanted to share this. It's just one of those things where like, you know, I'm not really getting anything out of it other than like, I'm just so excited about it. I just wanted to share it. That's all. Anyway, sorry if this video went too long. Uh, sometimes that happens. You know, I've been guilty of that. Um, trying to put all this stuff back in the box now how did it all go in there it all came out of this box now that doesn't make any sense this was in there how'd i get it back in what how is that possible i took it out of there now, where did that go that don't make sense okay like i said they must have a village of people packaging look at all the packaging what is it? Like everything has its own little box and everything was in a bag in the box. It's ridiculous. So the, uh, the, the wow stick, order one and get the craftsman four volt screwdriver links are down below as well as my Patreon. Send me free money so I can keep buying this stuff and telling you about it. Thanks so much, everybody. I'm video Bob. <laughs>